His word says he's going to come in back with vengeance in his hand. Right. His word says that he's coming back and the sickle is in his hand. Oh, yeah. And every eye's going to see, every tongue's going to confess Amen. that he is Lord and King of Kings. Amen. There is no other before him. There will be none other after him. Amen. And we better get ourselves right as right can be. We ain't got time to deal and rattle around anymore. We ain't got time to say I'll wait and wait and wait. And when it comes that time, we won't have time to run but you know she's got the oil and try to buy it from them because we won't have time, brother. Yeah. We won't have time. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. He said, I come like the thief in the night. Yeah. In the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. And a twinkling of an eye is quick. I mean, just a blink, you don't even see the twinkle. How are they going to get ready, brothers and sisters? How are they going to get ready yeah. to meet the king? When he comes back yeah. on that horse, yeah. that big white horse, when he breaks that eastern sky, he needs in the heavens. Open up. How are okay, you going to have time? Oh, well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't come to preach today, but you know something, Brother Mike, I got to preach in me. Why have I got to preach in me? Because I got Jesus yeah. inside of me. Yeah. Oh. He is the mightiest preacher there ever was. Glory. He said, these things I do, yeah. but greater things you can do yeah. Yeah. because, because, Woo. Brother Vestal, yeah. what does he say? Because, what does he say? Come on. Because, what does he say? He said, I go to the Father yeah. for you and make yeah. intercession Woo. for you. If there's anything that you need, I will meet that need because I go to the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we got a mediator between us and God. We got Jesus, the only begotten Son of God. Am I right, Brother Gilbert? The only begotten Son of God. Amen. God Himself, Brother Mark, yes, and left His deity in heaven yeah. and stepped out of that throne room yeah. and become His Son yeah. to walk upon the face of this earth. Yeah. He walked upon the face of this earth yeah. for 33 and a half years. Yeah. The people believe Him not. Yeah. The same as they're doing today. Yeah. Believe in Him not. We got plenty of time. No. Yeah. I'll just wait. No. We got plenty of time. No. I'll just sleep. No. We don't have all much time. No. There ain't no time left. No. They've been preaching this the word or saying they're preaching no the word, but they're not preaching the true word, brother Mike. Come on, brother. They're watering it down. Come on. Yeah. Oh, uh, Come on, brother. They got that big old wash basin they carry in. Yeah. Come on. And they lay it up on top of that pulpit. My, my, my. Come on. Yeah. Have you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Come on. That big old wash face yeah. in my vestal. Oh, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. Now take that word of God. They'll set it over in that wash face. Yeah. Uh huh. Dip down with their hand every now and then. Sprinkling uh -huh. water. Uh -huh. Come on. Dip down every now and then. Sprinkling water in there. Yep. We can water it down. Water it down. Come on. Oh, man. Yep. I found out in the Word of God, heaven is beautiful. Yes, sir. And hell is hot. hot. Amen. And it gets hotter and hotter Plenty. and hotter. Well, I got plenty of time. Come on. I got plenty of time. That's the lies of the devil. I'll wait. If I throw me in that old grain. If I go to the grave, car runs into it, runs over, and we're burned up, not saved, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Yep. Go to hell. Yep. The name's not written in the land, but the life. That's right. Pleasure ain't going to go to hell because it's already burned up. Yep. Mm -hmm. so spirit and soul is going to be in hell forever and ever. Yep. yep. Ever and ever to burn forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. 
Hold on, hold Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going to be a shame too when, when your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lord said He can blot your name out of that book. Yeah. Yeah. If you got any kind of spots or blemish. Yeah. He also said, Brother Mike, sure. he said, you may think you're saved. Right. We can go on for years and years and years thinking we're saved. I think we're saved. Oh. It's in there. Yeah. Years, day by day, day by day, day by day, and thinking, well, I'm going to heaven. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm going to heaven. One I ain't got that. nothing to worry about. Right. Do. Is that spot, wrinkle, or blood? Got plenty to worry about. It. Yeah, search your heart. Because he searches the very in, inner depth of the heart. Those appear in heart. He never knows every thought. Yes, he does. Every action you do each yeah. and every day. He knows it all. Yes, sir. But we'll go through every week and moment thinking that we're saved completely. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Yep. But what do we do when it comes to judgment day? When What do we do when we have to stand before him, before that white throne? What do we do? And he reads off out of that book. He's got two books. Yep. One's the Lamb Book of Life, the other's all the wrongs you've ever done. Mm -hmm. Two of them. And both of them will be open. Oh, yeah. And you know, I read it many times. If you're over there, and in that book where we've done all those wrongs, and he's writing them down every, every time. They're being recorded and written down. But he looks over it, he don't see nothing down there where Brother so and so got saved. Mm -hmm. He's a child of mine. And that's when your name becomes over in that little book of life. And when you, when we decide to accept him as our Lord and Savior. Right. I know that everybody in this room is saved. Right. But when the Spirit comes over me to preach, I'm going to preach. I don't get <laughs> out there under those that's trees or those squirrels or. Chickens, what it is, I'm going to preach, Brother Mike. You know right. that. Praise the Lord. Somebody might be outside listening. <laughs> you don't know. Brother Mike saying, me just take off. That's yeah. all right. He's singing now, I just take off. We all need I'm a hug. We all need just, a hug. He's singing away and I lay that yeah. guitar down and I am gone. Yeah. You know, when the Spirit takes over, that's what... We all need to touch, hear that from the Lord. That's what obedience is, Brother. Yes. That's obedience yes. to the Spirit of God. But what if we're to, when the Spirit's moving on us, the anointing? Yeah, thank you, Jesus. We got a rope back here pulling us backwards. No, don't go out there. They're not going to listen to you. Uh-uh, don't go. Don't go. Don't step out there. They're not going to listen to you. Am I right, Brother Gilbert? Yeah. They're not going to listen to you. That's when we need to go the most. Yeah. <laughs> step on out there. Yeah. yeah. Wait out just a little bit deeper. Uh, yeah. uh, let that water come up on their shoes a little bit. Yeah. If they're wearing those big old high, high top boots, let it run over in them. Yeah. Wait them down where they can stand in front of yeah. the altar yeah. and say, I, I want to get saved tonight. Yeah. Uh, come on. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be warriors for Christ, Brother Mike. Amen. Tell it like it is. Man. Not water it down to do with Brother Gilbert. Yeah. Not water it down. You didn't water it down one oh. bit when you were out there. Yep. You told it like it was. Yeah. Sure. Told it like it was because you knew you had to. You knew that you'd be yeah. held accountable for it if you didn't. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless him, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We can't water it down. We can't waver. Yeah. And we're going to take... Brother Michael, we're going to take a blessed oath that we tell the Lord yeah. when he saves us. I made a promise to him years and years ago yeah. to God, if you'll get me out of this place where I'm at, yeah. I won't go into the details about it, just a little bit. Yeah. I was locked up behind bars. Couldn't turn the key myself and get out. What? Five long years. And I decided one night, Brother Bestel, get out on my knees by that old bunk. Yep. That old metal bunk, Brother Mike. Cold. Yeah. Cold. It was cold. Talk to the master. And I began to remember, Brother Bestel, 
My granddad, my grandmother, my mother, they'd pray and God would answer. I got down on my knees and I said, God, if you'll get me out of here, send me back to my hometown, which is Sigaville, I will serve you and I will preach your word. He got me out real quickly. Within six days, well, three days, 